Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here, Dragon Tail Seaside. And this is the track that Wen has made. And we're gonna, uh... We're gonna take a look. So we're gonna do a hot lap around here and then we can get a little breakdown of the track, uh, lap, or corner by corner. Uh, but Dragon Tail Seaside is a track in Gran Turismo and uh, when happens to be coming online right as we're doing this video uh, made this track uh, that's the track that he really enjoyed playing and racing in Gran Turismo so we're gonna actually hop into Gran Turismo at the end of this video and do a lap of it there but uh yeah let's uh let's go here and start our lap tour track tour whatever you want to call it of this track so let's see what we got so we're gonna come to the start line here over the hill and we're gonna slow it down for you of course you guys a little bit of a just a drive through the track uh so right there here First thing you're gonna really want to do is when you start this race, of course, key thing is being on the curbs. And for this track, being on that inside curb here, ride this curb the whole way through. Now, normally I'd say cut over, but on this track, you want to flip this curb and make this corner as straight as possible. Because this section, you can cut pretty far and get the checkpoint. Now, of course, in a race playlist scenario, we'd obviously say keep it within the curbing. But in most scenarios, you don't have to keep it within the curbing. So you can just cut straight through here. And your car is going to push pretty wide. So just try and get as close as well. Even if you bounce off, you're going to keep a lot of speed. Through here, just cut as close to that. Uh, section there and try to stay more towards this curb clip the inside one on the right and I push out all the way over here close to that wall through here I'm going to straighten out and get right up next to this wall I'm going to get to about here because again you're going to carry more speed if you come right from that corner which actually we can hop out of the car because we're in GTA mode um, good thing we can do this because again, what you can do go right from here, you're going to keep a lot more speed going when you come from this curb and push right out to the wall there. Cause again, that's more of a straight, straight line ahead, right? And you can kind of arc your turn where this you're coming through the corner. You're going to have to come through here quite quickly, break and try to line it up. That's actually keeping you right up against the wall. And that's really, really where you want to be. Because that's going to set you up for a fantastic, uh, you know, fantastic spot. Because, again, that's pretty much a straight line. So, what this will do, you just got to do a little bit of a turn off the wall. Not that much. Come down this hill. You got a little bit of a bump there, but not really a problem. Down this hill, I like to get a little bit more towards the right side and then bring the car over here. And you gotta watch this gap, so be kinda careful when you get close to the curb there. Run that curbing and then clip back to the left, back to the right. Cut over again to the left, it's gonna set you up. A little bit nicer through this section on the right this will then push you back to the left for a quick move to the right to the left back to the right side over here and you're going to turn in go along this section on the left go in on this section to the right and then through here all the way down you're on the left the whole way on the left right here you're gonna turn over towards the right keep your car on this 
And when you're going fast, your car is going to want to slide out, so kind of keep that in mind as you run your line through here and up this hill. I'm on this curbing the whole way. And this is a real spot that if you do have catch up on, you're definitely going to notice it is right on this hill. Whoever is in second or third, if you're close leader, you're going to really notice it. And again, I like to run very close to this wall. That's going to keep us going. And that's really going to set you up for where you want to be through this corner. So let's just run it out here, run out this lap kind of look through some of these sections that we were talking about try to take a little bit more high speed again you may hit that wall so just try to lighten up a little bit through here I bounced off the wall because again I kind of messed up set myself up for not a great positioning on the track So here we go through the section and your car kind of wants to push out. So again, trying to stay on a curb through that section, no matter what, I mean, again, you want to try to be on that inside curb as much as possible. But if your car wants to go to the right curb, it's going to go to the right curb. I mean, there's really nothing too about that. Again, car wants to push out. And again, I'll go take the proper lines as we begin our flying lap here. So again, on the right side of the track. Again, car wants to push a little bit. If you take that completely flat, that is fine. Flip that through here. Let off slightly, but do not break. Just let off the gas. Go to the sides here, like I said. Swing in, car is gonna hit that wall. Not fantastic, but it's fine. Go here, get out towards that wall. As close as you can. Down this hill. Slight braking. Again, car wants to push, so just try to keep it going. Again, get yourself on the left side. Cut over to the right side. Try and stay on that curb, but again, depending on what car you have, it's going to want to push out more or less. And again, that will dictate kind of how you take your lines. Because again, the line breakdown like I was showing really is the ideal line through the track. You can't take that, you can't take that. But that's the ideal line. So here we go through this section. Again, you see the car on the curb. Let off just slightly. Don't brake, just let off the gas. And you see the car want to slide out. You keep it going again. When you see those flames come out the back of the car, out the exhaust you know we're letting off that's a good indicator there of kind of when I'm letting off slide through that section that's really really good through here just a little let off that's better through this section a little too early on the gas for my let off but again if you run these lines if you race this track against the community most people aren't going to know that. I've absolutely pulled in some crazy distances on this track in a lap or two. I had one against Wen, one race, and we actually had one in the Solo Racing Master episode that came out, episode number six. We raced this track and had a crazy uh, catch-up going on that one. So that's going to be how you're going to race this track. So let's jump over now to Gran Turismo 7 and take a look at the difference in tracks there to uh, what WAN has made here in GTA. Rare time we get to kind of compare tracks between video games, but let's jump over to Gran Turismo 7 right now and see what that track has to offer for us in that game compared to here in GTA. So I got that hookup. My birthday. My boy made a cake. What we get? Give me something flames. Give me something flames. Oh, this is a 4GT, isn't it? 
Oh no, it's the Hyundai. Bro, I thought we got the Ford GT, bro. What happened? Bruh. I don't think I had that though, did I? I better not have had that. I'd be hurt if I did. Oh, I didn't have it. Let's go. Yeah, I thought we got the Ford GT. Maybe that was last year. Maybe they changed it up for like each year. Doesn't have a Ford GT though. Like, the the older one. Everybody has that, and that shit's, like, goaded. Pretty sure that was for, like, the birthday gifts. It's all this awans that he got, um, in September. But, either way, this video's going out, um, March 2nd. My birthday was February 16th. But I didn't play the game since then, so. And obviously you're seeing when I'm playing the game in the top corner, February 20th, so. Um, but, I mean, again, the video's going out later. Where's Dragon Tail? Croatia? Uh, let's do a time trial. Seaside, let's load it up. We got our Supra. Alright, so let's see what we got. How does it feel? Uh, going to the start line. And Wan's version on GTA, definitely more of a hill. You definitely crest more of a hill. Uh, through here, though, I can definitely feel where I'll say and stay to the state of the right. And again, through here, it's the chicane bit. You can definitely go through this a little bit faster than the GTA version uh, that he made. But through here, very, very good. So I'm going to stay to the side. Cut through here, I can tell exactly what bit this is. Now again, in his version on GTA, you want to push right out to the wall. Here you don't want to. We just have the same gate as we go down the hill. And he definitely did a good job recreating it. It's kind of hard to tell when you're playing the track. Uh, but jumping from that and then jumping into this, uh, definitely could tell. Uh, from playing It's not a chart that I really remember that well, so when I go between the two Definitely was able to remember that a little bit better uh, This is definitely your downhill section, so we're gonna cut back over And of course he did have a tunnel So he didn't have a curve necessarily the same as the tunnel. Felt a little bit more straight on that. But uh, definitely had that same vibe. So let's actually do a lap of this track and give you guys a breakdown on how you should take Dragon Tail, Seaside, and Gran Turismo. Well, we're here. We might as well do it. So, right here, we're going to clip that curve. And I want to push out towards the pit wall here. Definitely the direction that I want to go here in my Supra. I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna lift just a little bit. I'm gonna break it to 150 board. That's gonna set me up nicely to get both of these curves. Again, push yourself to these spots. Of course, we do have the marker on the track. I'm not even looking at that though. I'm uh, gonna clip the curb here, right along the curb, turn in. I don't even know why I have these markers on, to be fair. Clip that curb there. curb there. I'm going to kind of ignore that marker and set myself up perfectly for this corner instead. I'm going to ride on the inside of that curb just slightly. Try and gain a little more speed. See, I'm going to really push wide. Use all the red. Car does want to snap though when you pop back over. Down here, break at the 150 board again. Set yourself up nicely for a turn in. Uh, car wants to push out towards the wall a little bit too hard. Here we go. All the way over that curb. All the way over that curb. Right towards the wall. Clip this curb. Clip that curb. And we're going to go right along the left side wall. Through the tunnel. Once again, I'm going to break it 150. You break it whatever feels comfortable to you. Turn in here. 
right along this curb, power up. I'm going to ignore that. Cut along here, and that's going to take you for a lap around Dragon's Tail. In Gran Turismo. So overall, I'd say Wayne did a very good job uh, recreating this track in GTA. So, hope you guys check out his creation. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A little bit of a crossover between GTA and Gran Turismo. We don't typically get that in the same video. But uh, either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one.